Abby, are you ready to get on that Hoko life? Very much so. <laughs> yeah, this um, this is Hoko life, and it is a an Animal Crossing clone. I think you can pretty mm -hmm. clearly tell from the uh, <laughs> stoner hipster <laughs> elephant man. I love him. Yeah. Why uh, is his arm so long, though? <laughs> I have no idea. This guy is a character. He's, um, yeah. That might tell you everything <laughs> you need to know about this dude. Uh, um, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's the town stoner. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, also, I stole from this guy immediately within like the first five uh, minutes of meeting him. So essentially, you can do that? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so essentially, in this game, you're kind of like you uh, arrive on a train, um, you meet this guy here, Omer, mm -hmm. um, and uh, he basically immediately crowns you as the town mayor, <laughs> and you just kind of go around helping the town out. Like when you first move in, there's like four, maybe five people here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm about six hours in and I've got maybe three, three or four more people here. Um, and yeah, you can just walk into people's houses and move shit around. So I'll quickly show you. Um, so when you sort of start off, you in this inn and you have like a futon, a dressing table that does nothing. And then a little basket. That's kind of <laughs> it. I stole Nico's fucking amp and guitar <laughs> and he hasn't said a word about it. And in fact, I've actually um, I've actually got a quest from him that's like, uh, oh yeah, could you could you decorate my house? And I'm like, yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Let's let's not talk about the fact that I completely stole all of your crap. So um, you can move other people's houses around. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll show oh. you that in a sec. Um, but the interesting thing about this, and what I really like about this, that separates it from being just an Animal Crossing clone. Uh, at least from the Switch version, which was um, oh, what's the what's the name of the actual full name of it? Animal Crossing um, um, something Island, isn't it, or something like that? I can't remember. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I put like ten hours into that, and um, my girlfriend put about four in. And the one thing we found really annoying was like the amount of time it took before you could like actually do something again so it was like yes. set on real time yes. the nice thing about this is it's not like that at all you can sleep for mm -hmm. two hours six hours or just sleep until the next morning and just go so uh it's real good nice. if you just want to do that animal crossing style binge um which is kind of what i wanted to do um so yeah you've got the the in there and there's a shop that sells uh a whole bunch of stuff so this is oh. moss uh, he's my favorite. Oh, he's um, cute. Yeah. He uh, buys all your crap from you. Nice. That's what makes him the best. Um, <laughs> every every day there's new seeds here. Uh, so there's like there's okay. always the standard tree seed. So you can't just chop down every tree and screw yourself over. Um, yes. There are random seeds here. So red flowers and uh, all kinds of different like flowers for dyes and stuff. There's stuffing so you can make cushions fabric Ooh. dye so that you can you know make a that's the base to make the dyes glue there's backpack upgrades here um you start with an axe but they sell another one for some reason there isn't any <laughs> breaking tools uh, there's no no tool durability uh yeah you pick axe, your bug net and then every day there's new stuff here so uh there's a microphone stand there for some reason Okay, um, uh, I need to ask about that because in Animal Crossing, if you put a microphone and stand down, your villagers will sing into it. Does that happen in this game? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to oh, know. also, one thing I should probably trigger off now, just because it takes a little while, uh, is the house building in this game. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, this is Rosa. Uh, oh. She, I think she, who knows, um, <laughs> built houses. And this is where this game gets really annoying, at least just for this certain section. So to okay. build a plot, you have to kind of make her follow you around, but uh, mm -hmm. she kind of slow. <laughs> mm. And um, yeah, this takes yeah. a minute. <laughs> So I'm just like yeah. really, and, and also the animation on, there is no walking animation. There's just running. So, <laughs> you know, 
ignore these minor quirks and I'll, I'll show you the cool parts of this game mm -hmm. uh, in just a moment here. We're just going to set this house down. Um, also, yeah, really building ramps. Um, massive pain in the ass. So I'll just get all the pain in the asses about this game out of the way right, yeah. right up front. Building ramps, nightmare. Um, I figured you could do it because you get a recipe for a bridge really early on. And I was building mm -hmm. the bridges like across the river, no problem. And I was thinking, oh, I haven't got a ramp recipe, but I clearly need to get up here. So I ended up having to YouTube it because there is just, they don't teach you that like at all. Okay. Um, but yeah, minor, minor gripe. It's fine. Do um, you get the ramps and bridges like straight away? No, so there's kind of a cool crafting thing in this that I don't know exists in Animal Crossing because I didn't play it enough. Um, but that's kind of why I brought you here as our like resident Animal Crossing expert. Um, is <laughs> yes. to tell me what the you know if that was in here or not uh, in Animal Crossing or not. So I'll quickly flip through this. So our house plot should be going along now, and this is the the town. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the workshop and that crafting uh, UI that I was showing you. So this is Sally. Sally is awesome. <laughs> um, she sells all of your blueprints, so you get sort of large objects. You can literally design anything there. Um, she has specific chairs, tables, and beds, lights. They have specific interactions on them. Um, mm -hmm. But you can literally just make an object that's just like, hey, I want to build a statue out of wood. Uh, and to do something like that. Uh, so I'll, I'll just quickly show you because I'm probably going to need one. We'll just make a bed real quick. Okay. Um, so we go into add stuff and I'll just make a real simple just bed. Was this in Animal Crossing at all? This type of... No, <laughs> not yeah. at all. So <laughs> it kind of go. it's kind of weird. It's like AutoCAD in a game but it works really nicely um, and I've been having a lot of fun with it um, yeah so I'll just quickly flip one together hopefully I've got enough materials I don't have to go gathering if we don't then I'll just quickly show you one here's one I prepared earlier kind of thing you know? <laughs> um, so yeah this is like kind of a pain in the ass to get used to at first but um, yeah uh, you'll very quickly get used to it after about maybe about 20 minutes of just figuring out what all these buttons do and i'm mm -hmm. um playing primarily on a controller uh, on Xbox okay. controller but to do this with a controller is just <laughs> so i'm using my yeah. board for these parts um so let's spread that out a little bit put these in here this is a type of thing i wish was in the sims like I'd love this yeah. so much. <laughs> it's kind of like, the, the nice thing about it is like, even though you're designing like your own house and you like your villagers houses, no two piece of furnitures like look exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, because you're kind of, you know, making your own. Um, do I have enough for a mattress? Do you? Okay. All right. So resize this, squash that down. Ooh. Move. And just, oh, oh god. No. <laughs> no, that needs to be way thinner and move down. Ooh. Yeah. the Some stuff will just clip, but it'll be fine. It'll let you get away with that most of the time, as mm -hmm. long as stuff isn't clipping through the floor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It kind of has a problem with that, uh, it turns out. Um, the really annoying thing is the shortcut for rotate is on E and resize is on R and it's just like mm. <laughs> it's not ideal. Anyone who, who's ever used Blender is gonna have a pain yeah. with that. Exactly, exactly. But the nice thing is it lets you do sort of crazy things like this so you could just get away with that right now as a bed. In fact you could just put the mattress okay. on the floor and it would be a bed. Um, <laughs> but you can do kind of kooky things like um, you know like make a, an actual headboard and stuff like that. Um, so I'll just delete this one now and save it because I don't want to spend all the time looking at crafting a bed. <laughs> and I'll just show you kind of what you can do with them. Um, so this is a guy I've moved in. This is Benny. Oh. Benny, um, 
Yeah, Benny was real depressed when I met him. He was the first guy, oh. like, n the new guy to town. And, um, yeah, he... Oh, Ooh. Benny! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, Benny. I'll, I'll help you out, bro. Um, Benny moved here because he was tired of the normal, like, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, which I vibe with in a strong oh, way. Oh, same. Um, same. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's a little bed I made. Uh, earlier and put some sort of dyes on it to make it look kind of not as not as poo and um, <laughs> yeah put like a little headboard and stuff on it i also made a table out of a log just to see if i could <laughs> um, nice yeah so he's got kind of have a little sort of rustic uh, vibe going on in here um i i do like that you can decorate their houses because in animal crossing they just have set designs of their houses oh really and that's just how it is yeah you oh, can't okay. move anything around and some villages have the same design so they just have two houses that are the same so yeah. it's cool that you can you can do that so this is uh mai's house mai is kind of like the village uh, geek slash librarian but yeah you can yeah. see i can come into here and just start moving her shit yeah. around like I, I can even pick it up and just walk away with it. Like, hey, <laughs> nice, nice record player. Thanks. You know, kind of. taking that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they don't seem to say anything about it. Um, as far as the standard sort of uh, Animal Crossing-y type things go, hey, you can catch a bug. Nice. With a bug net. The cool thing, though, and I didn't see this, at least in the last Animal Crossing on the Switch, um was the lack of an actually good fishing mini game um so okay. let me let me find uh oh there's owen he's a, a hipster <laughs> he dropped a bream but <laughs> wait he just dropped a fish yeah sure i'll go and give that to benny real quick sure just walking around with a fish yeah as apparently. you do <laughs> for, for you yeah <laughs> oh okay so that new stuff that she has available. So I was really quickly before this um, trying to get uh, a, a whole section unlocked that's like a mine um, oh, from, yeah. from this chap in here. Um, and, oh, he's not there. Um, <laughs> he's the inventor. He just moved in. He's a bunny running around wearing literally Woody's outfit from Toy Story. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And apparently he makes bombs, which you can use to blow up um, a, a whole rocky section uh, that's been sort of blocked off. Um, oh, okay. And that unlocks a cave, which you can mine in. And um, there's a forest area up there, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but yeah, check out this fishing mini game. This is w way cooler than anything I saw in Animal Crossing. So I'm like, A to oh. reeling in. So green, it's almost about to snap. And then I have to pull my uh, analog stick on occasion to one side. And then go again. So green means he's about to break. Red is like, seriously, stop. Because um, <laughs> you'll, you'll let go. Um, yeah, this is great. I've spent like an hour yeah. just doing that over and over again. <laughs> it's really so cool. satisfying. Yeah. I can, I can see myself doing that for hours just yeah. to be good at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, so yeah, after crafting the ramp and stuff, it unlocks this whole section. Oh, uh, oh I like this. Splits off into paths. Oh, and, oh yeah, I had to make a bridge there. Uh, there's flowers to pick. Because I was looking um, at the at this here, and I was like, I didn't have any pond fish unlocked at the time, and I was like, well, where the hell's a pond? Because yeah. in the village there was just. Um, oh, some stuff I left earlier. Full inventory. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was just the um, the river, and then you can go onto mm -hmm. the beach and do sea fishing. And I was like, where the hell's the pond? And then I realized, oh yeah, like there's some stairs at the back here that like clearly go up <laughs> somewhere. And then this whole thing was here. So I haven't done much fishing in here, but the fish are way harder. Um, but yeah, I've shown you some fishing already. So we'll quickly show you some other bits. So the map is it, a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Yeah, so that, I was just about to ask, how big was the Animal Crossing Islands map? Because I know you can go to like other people's islands and stuff. Um, yeah. But so, well, that's 
It's a loaded question because it takes a while to get ramps to bridges. Um, which basically is how you unlock the other areas around. So like there'll be a river that you can't get over. Right. And then you either use the like the pole to get over or build a bridge. But that takes so long right. to get. <laughs> it's yeah. such a pain in the ass. Yeah. And even I've... then it's not that big <laughs> either. Like yeah. I was running out of room while I was playing, trying to fit everything in. Yeah, I'd gotten as far as unlocking the pole and I think the ladder. Um, yeah. But that was about as far as I got because it was, like I say, it was just so frustrating getting so far and then it basically just putting that hard stop in when, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted that sort of almost Stardew-esque um, binge, you know, to just yes, keep going yes. and going. So yeah, here's where the yeah. mine is and um, I'm guessing that's what the bombs must blow up and take okay. us down into a, a new area so maybe if we get time we can try and do that mm -hmm. um but yeah even out here you'll see i can just pick up stuff and just start moving oh. it around and, and take it away so um, can you just customize the whole map essentially much? yeah um wow. even the town square um oh. so one of the first quests you get is to like um build a bench and um build a couple of flower pots um, and yeah, it lets you move around the lampposts, the fences, everything. Um, it's cool. great, honestly. <laughs> I've, I've been having a ton of fun with this. It's wonderful. Like the art style, everything just kind of yes. pops. It's nice. It's very beautiful. You know, it, yeah. And the fact that you can, you know, I don't know if I can get into the settings menu from within here. I guess not. Okay. Um, but you can pump this, you know, right up to... I'm on 1440p, 144 um, at, uh, refresh rate right now, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy, like, to have yes. a thing <laughs> like this with that high res. And, you yeah. know, even though it's relatively low-poly stuff, it still pops, it still looks nice. The art style oh, is definitely. good. And the, the characters look great, too. Like, I tried to make myself as much like me as I could. <laughs> um the clothes, you, you just start off with default clothes and I've unlocked some new shoes and a jacket from, from some questing. Um, again, got to mark this game down though for the lack of beards. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to find a game that has like a plethora of beards. Yeah. Because there isn't any. <laughs> exactly. I think like, you know, there are plenty of viking S games out there that'll have beards. True. But yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll see here, I can move the lamppost round, like if I want to put it no. you know, over here, no. for example, I can, you know. Um, and there is multiplayer in this, but because I don't have anyone who plays this, I haven't been able to test it. But I believe you use this train station here to go to um, to other people's towns. Um, See, that is the thing that made me think of Animal Crossing with this game because I think it's in New Leaf. You have a train station exactly the same as that, pretty much. Right. And you use it in the same way. Like, even the intro is the same where you, like, arrive on the train. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, um... That's Hoko Life. Uh, and I am living it and loving it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else you want to uh, ask or look at before we wrap this up. Um... Oh, there's... Let me see. There's Chef. Oh! In his woody outfit. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he is. It's literally what he's actually outfit. wearing that. Wow. <laughs> see if uh, Sally's got our bombs for us. Nope. Stairs. Okay, well. Stairs. <laughs> I'll take a look at those. Yeah, anything else before we wrap up? No, um, I think you've covered everything, but this game is very cute. I can definitely see myself playing it and spending years of my life playing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So right <laughs> now it's, um, I believe it's forty ninety nine uh, pounds uh, on Steam. Uh, it is in early access, hence this being mm -hmm. an unfinished business. So um, yeah, things will change. Uh, the game will probably get better, um, but right now, well worth picking it up uh, even just to play yeah. solo um if there's anything drastic with the multiplayer uh, we'll just take a look at that i guess um 
but for now um thanks for watching thanks abby for joining me on this one thank you for having me and uh, we'll see you in the next one